Hey everyone, welcome back to the Goth House. If you've been here before, if you're new, welcome. I'm so glad you're here. I'm Jenny and this is the January 2022 update. Happy New Year, folks. I'm so excited about the new year and I have lots of plans for all of 2022. So I kind of want to give you a gist of my goals for 2022. We all have different goals, but I think a lot of us on this channel have the goal in common of preparing and stocking foods, among other things. <laughs> so in 2022, I hope to put up more food, of course. Um, I do need to redo my entire garden, so I'm hoping to get that done this year in time to get stuff in for spring planting. Um, last year, my garden did not do well at all. We actually picked up garden soil. We had some delivered and it was too sandy. And then we went to um, Lowe's and we got garden soil from there and tried to mix it. Uh, it did not go well. The soil was awful. So we need to pull everything out of there and uh, get some good garden soil in those raised beds. So that is one of my biggest goals for this year is to get that going. So I will bring you along when I do. <laughs> also, my orange tree died this year. I had that orange tree for four years and it just, it died this year. I have no idea why. And so my lemon tree, or my, uh, yeah, my lemon tree, my Meyer lemon tree is still doing fine, but of course it's not producing lemons this winter because the orange tree is dead and you need two fruit trees to cross pollinate. So I am going to have to get another orange tree and to put in its place. Also, I want to say I hope everybody had wonderful holidays if you celebrated. And I want to thank everybody who sent me Christmas cards. I, I It was unexpected and I was so happy to receive all of your Christmas cards. So thank you so much. I really appreciate it. It was so nice. Also, I want to thank Paula for sending me this. She sent me a seam guide for my Juki machine. I am so excited about this little thing. I'm gonna put this on my machine tonight and I am gonna get started on my next quilting project. So seam guide lets you set it to quarter inch, half inch, three quarter, whatever you need on to keep your fabric straight as you're moving it along. So I am super excited about this. I have already watched several videos on it. <laughs> So thank you again, Paula. I so much appreciate you. In this year, I hope to put up more dehydrated foods. I wanna do, I wanna do a lot more dehydrated. I've done a lot in previous years and I kinda go on some years I do more than others. Um, this year, I would like to get more drying done. So um, that is on my to-do list. And in January, I will have some drying videos for you. I am also going to have meal starters for you. I have lots of new meal starter recipes that I have written for you, so I'm super excited to bring those out. Um, I also am gonna go back to doing the 3000 Club and the ugly, food, the ugly vegetables, ugly fruits, whatever it is, uh, and do more food salvage. <laughs> I've done a lot of that in the past and there were some years where I got 200 pounds of tomatoes for $20. I mean, uh, you can find good deals. There's a lot of produce here in the valley. So I am going to try this year to go back to uh, food salvage again and try to find some good deals because there's no way I'm going to grow that much at once here in my tiny garden. <laughs> so food salvage, I'm going to be on the lookout for farms and um, deals for that this year. I've done a lot of that in the past, but the past two years I've been kind of lax on it and haven't done it. Um, I think with everything going on, I kind of just stayed home. <laughs> so I am going to get back to doing that. I got a list I'm, I'm reading off of because otherwise I won't remember. Um, in January also, I want, I'm going to do a couple more dry mix videos for you. And and I am gonna start a new series uh, about basics. The basic things that we all use, you know, um, bread, 
I have a video on tortillas and I'm gonna add those into the playlist, but I also am going to do, and I showed you bagels, um, I'm gonna do rolls, buns, um, I think I have dinner roll recipes. I'm gonna put, the, the ones I already have, I'll put in a playlist for you, and then I'll add these back into that playlist too. So just basic things that we all use in our house that maybe we don't think about um, making ourselves and we run out to the grocery store and buy it. If you are going to be on the January pantry challenge where you are going to shop none and you're gonna stay home and use what you have in your pantry, Maybe you want to know how to make some of these things. Maybe you just need a refresher course. Maybe you used to make them, but haven't in a long time and need some inspiration. Whatever your reason is, I'm going to do some of those basic videos. Lisa over at Sutton's Days is doing her 2022 pantry challenge. And a lot of you I know are participating in that. And I am going to also, other than maybe some fresh veg that I can get good deals on. Otherwise, my pantry is fully stocked. I could live out of it. I'm, there's no problem with that. Um, just the fresh stuff. So uh, that and milk because my husband refuses to go without it. I'm going to work on this and maybe we can do it together. I have tons of cracker recipes and so I'll probably share more of those with you. Um, and then that brings me to my last goal of the year. And that one is... Now that we've put up a lot of our foods and some of us consider, some people consider themselves ingredient canners and a lot of new canners start out just being ingredient canners and there's nothing wrong with that. I, I do the same thing. I, I can ingredients, but I also can meals. I, I can everything. I don't, I am, I, I, I like a fully stocked pantry with, a, with everything, but there are a lot of people who start out, they start canning, they, and they've canned all these ingredients, and then you're left with a beautiful pantry full of ingredients, and you've stocked up, and you have flour, and you've got sugar, and you've got this, and you've got that. Now what to do with it? We all have those questions. You sit around and look at it and think, okay, now I need some inspiration on how to use all this stuff. What meals am I going to make? Um, how am I going to put them together? So I am also going to work on bringing you those videos this year. A lot more pantry cooking and a lot of recipes coming from those ingredients that we've canned up or that we've stocked or canned up and stocked. I think that's really important. I think it's really important to know how to use all of the ingredients that you've put a lot of hard work into stocking. That is my biggest goal for 2022. So all year long, of course, I will be bringing you that with the rest of the stuff that I do, you know, a little sprinkling of sewing here and there, holidays here and there, things like that. I wish you all a wonderful and prosperous 2022 in a year of fun and maybe hopefully getting back to some normalcy for some, of, for some folks. Anyway, friends, thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video.